Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of SD Locks SCP Readings. This is Shaggy Dreadlocks. Today we're going to be reading SCP-2910 That Only a Mother Item Number SCP-2910 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The automated voice recognition programs Wet Nurse Alpha through Zeta have been deployed to monitor global telecommunications networks. Each wet nurse monitors a single continent, identifying and flagging phrases and sentences that could indicate occurrences of SCP-2910. Once a phrase is flagged, Mobile Task Force Epsilon-8, the midwives, will be automatically alerted to investigate and, if necessary, recover instances of SCP-2910-A. Civilians that have viewed an instance of SCP-2910-A in person are to be transferred to the site nearest their location and treated with the therapy regimen outlined in Document 2910-1. Description SCP-2910 is a phenomenon that sporadically randomly affects at least two people giving birth via vaginal delivery at the same time. The affected persons will not deliver the infants, but rather instances of SCP-2910-A, a disorganized collection of organs and body parts, lungs, brain, mouth, ears, eyes, etc., that belong to a newborn infant held together by congealed blood. SCP-2910-A is animate and emulates the behavior of newborn infants, such as crying, sound is emitted from the mouth through unknown means, and rooting. As SCP-2910-A ages, it mimics the behavior of infants at the equivalent age. For example, by six months, SCP-2910-A is able to move by itself. However, it does not grow and cannot consume any foodstuffs except milk, and only while breastfeeding. After 12 months, it becomes inanimate and begins to decompose normally. Instances of SCP-2910-A uniformly derive half of their genetic heritage from the person who initially impregnated the woman who gave birth to them. Statistical analysis, record of events, and genetic analysis indicate that the other half of their genetic heritage is not derived from their birth mother, but rather, another woman who experienced SCP-2910 at the same time. The memory of SCP-2910-A cannot be removed by any means available to the Foundation, although all other circumstances of its birth, including the actual process of giving birth, can be erased via amnestics. Anyone who viewed SCP-2910-A in person will still recall it and its traits with perfect clarity. Hypnotherapy and application of interrogation techniques to convince affected civilians that SCP-2910-A is simply an illusion caused by stress have proven an effective alternate tactic. Addendum Recovery Log the first recorded occurrence of SCP-2910 was recorded on July 16, 1983. At 4.35 and 4.37 UTC, James Knight of South Hadley, Massachusetts and Frederick Noel of Nievre, France, respectively, made phone calls to local emergency services. Both men described how their wives, who had chosen to undergo natural childbirth at home, had delivered instances of SCP-2910-A. In both cases, the deliveries made the local news and drew the attention of the Foundation. Epsilon-8 investigated and classified SCP-2910 as an anomaly once it was discovered that the Knights and Noels could not be treated fully with amnestics. The families were treated with the aforementioned alternative therapy instead. Addendum Geographic Pattern 
cases of SCP-2910 have occurred since 1978. The number of cases per year appears to be increasing at a continuous rate. Recent analysis and plotting of occurrences on a Mercator projection has shown the rough outline of a distorted Fermat spiral. However, all attempts to use this model to predict the locations of SCP-2910 occurrences have failed. And that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell for notification and drop down in the description where you can find this author's page so you can enjoy more of their content. Until next time.